Hello, everybody. Hi. So, um, this is my second official video on this channel called Brittany the Body Healer. Um, this channel is all about holistic living. Um, it's mostly going to be about hair care, natural hair. Um, I went to cosmetology school. And, um, and this channel is really just going to be about um, beauty and such. And seasonal, oh my god, it's not as good as it was before, Alex, I can't take it. What do you mean? It's kind of uh, uh, blurry. This is our like... second take, guys, and I am, like, I'm a perfectionist. That's my problem. Yeah, she, so she used to making videos already. It's, and uh, I guess you like your little lightings and stuff. I like things perfect. Okay. Okay, but whatever. I guess it can't be perfect. Yeah. Okay, so, um, but yes. Anyways, um, so this channel is all about beauty, um, taking care of the body, holistic living, and living in the seasons and such like that. Um, body care, skin care, stuff like that, okay? Now, I also have a second channel. This channel caters to astrology, and this astrology channel is called Beautiful Understandings with Brittany. So, if you guys are interested in astrology, you can follow me there. And if you guys are into beauty and holistic living, follow me here. Okay, and Alex will soon be coming out with his own channel. So, uh, stay tuned. He will be one of our uh, guests regularly on the channel he's my friend so we're gonna see him all the time all right so it is halloween <laughs> all right and uh let's get started so um halloween special um let's talk about um our topics for today yes um, um, but I think we first need to do a shot. Oh yeah, let's take a shot because you had a long day at work and I had a long day with Buttercup, which we're gonna talk about Buttercup later on. But let's take a shot right now. Okay. okay. So um. What is this? Our drink for tonight is called the Monsters Cookies and Cream Smash Drink. Okay. And this is gonna be a mix of classy, brandy, vanilla, brandy. Okay? Okay? It's by EJ. It's called EJ Vanilla. Okay? I spent about um, six, approximately six dollars on this item, by the way. So, very reasonably priced. Brandy. Yeah. And then to mix it, um, um, we did a milkshake. My favorite. So we got the cookies and cream by oh. Hershey's. I've never tried this before. It's good. It's actually going to be like my third time on uh, trying it. So it's, it's really good. I, I, I love that. I love that very much. Mm -hmm. And it costs like what? Three, four dollars? Yeah. Oh, by the way, we need to tell everybody our signs. Okay, I'm an Aries. I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> exactly, exactly. For those of you guys who know astrology, you guys know Aries and Sagittarius, both fire. Fire plus fire. This means that today is going to be Bye. Yes, yes, and the energy in the room is so much. Is so much. Um, it's, 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 it's the vibe is so different. You have a a whole lot of um, um you know, candles that we're gonna talk about. Uh, -huh. uh different scent. That, you I know, thought you were gonna talk about me. Huh? But okay. I mean, I mean, we we, we can talk about <laughs> we talk about Brittany. We can talk about her all day. Um, but. But we, I guess, but we will talk about the candles. We're going to talk about everything we bought this season for autumn, for fall. Okay. You know, um, like we're going to talk about all of the Halloween stuff 
-hmm. all the Halloween themed things that we did this um, for October. Um, we're going to talk about all the shots we made, all the songs we listened to, mm -hmm. what is, um, it is 2021, so in the years to come, in the future, when we review back to this video, um, we'll be able to see what was cool and trending Halloween this year, you know? Yeah. So it'll be a cool video to look back on, you know? Yeah, and it's a little bit different because, you know, you got the whole pandemic still going on and... Uh -huh. You know, there's only certain things that we can go. There's restrictions everywhere. There's, um, you know, curfews and stuff like that. So, you know, it was really, it's kind of like limited or so much that we can do really this year for Halloween. Right. So let's get started on the shots, guys. So we're going to start. Uh, let me show you how. I We mix shots. Thank you. All right. So um, we wanted to show you guys some of our fall favorites and stuff we bought 2021 for this fall season. So I wanted to show you guys the candle I bought. Um, this is the Mainstays Apple Cider Donut Candle. Um, you can purchase this at Walmart for approximately $3.33. I absolutely love these candles. They're very, very strong for inexpensive candles. Um, for that to be a $3 candle is very, very strong. So I love that candle. And uh, Alex, can you talk about your candles for me? Uh, my candles are pretty much done, but I have one lavender, uh, which I use for my living room. It's, uh, it's yeah, this is it right here, guys. Um, smells really good. Um, very good. And uh, But now I'm on to the fuser now. If you guys can see, you see that little thing right there? Yeah, with the collar. That's my fuser. Love it, you know. It gives me good, such a good energy, man. Just relax. I just feel relaxed every time the thing is on. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, speaking of relax, let's do our shots. Today for Halloween, we are doing the EJ Vanilla um, Brandy, okay? And we are doing this with a... Do we have our um, thing, our milkshake? Oh, here it is. Our cookies and cream milkshake. This milkshake. is going to be what our shot it is called the... Monsters Cookies and Cream Smash Shot. And um, we're going to show you guys that shot. But for now, we're just going to be doing the brandy by itself. And we're just going to kind of talk about the brandy and let you guys know what this elegant drink tastes like. That goes down really smooth. It does. Ah! Yeah, it's a chill Whoa! drink. Whoa! Love it. It's a chill drink. Like By it. the way, for those of you guys who's wondering who's that evil person, that's Selena. <laughs> Selena! It's it's pause, but yeah, that's Selena with her nice, pretty smile. Selena and her crazy fucking eyes. <laughs> well, we're allowed to curse. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, uh, what do you think about the drink? It's good. Yeah. Like what? What made you like pick that drink though? Um. Well, maybe pick it was because um. We were we had looked up some Halloween stuff for the month, you know. Um, mm -hmm. A long time ago, um, every single holiday, I always like to pick a holiday drink. That's something festive I like to do for most holidays every year. Um, this year, I knew I wanted to do a milkshake for okay. Halloween. 
So originally, me, we, I was um, talking with Alex to maybe do a um, a, a cookies milkshake, um, you know, for uh, you know Halloween. Now, what ended up happening was we would have had to buy the cookies. We wanted to get the M and M cookies and put it with a vanilla milkshake. You know what I mean? And it would have been a lot of work. I mean, we would have, Alex would have had to blend it everything. You know, Alex would have had to put it in the glass and clean the glasses and no, this do the dishes. Y'all had no time in the kitchen. <laughs> Y'all had to be washing the so dishes. It so much work for Alex. Mm -mm. Y'all had to come in the so kitchen. So we, we went ahead and we just got the cookies and cream and we just made a new shot, okay? With the simple. I don't know about you guys, but how much alcohol? Let's see how much alcohol it has in this drink. Jeez, I can't even see. Oh, wait! Hold on, it's already almost six minutes in. We gotta do our magic spell. Manifestation. Oh, I know that thing is not on. No, it's not on. I'm about to say it. Okay. It's, it's, so, we are going to be Harry Potter. It's um 30%, guys. It's 30%. 30%. So, uh, very easy, you know, like it doesn't... <clears throat> it's very smooth. Very smooth drink. Love it. Very smooth. So, all right. We're going to do the Harry Potter stuff. Harry Potter. Get the thing with it. Hey, Trace Show! Hey, Trace Show! Whatever she say. <laughs> they always sound like that. They always sound like that, okay? Mm. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, um, let's talk about our manifestations for the year. Um, so for um, this year, what I would love to see is my business prosper. Um, I would love for you guys to subscribe to Brittany the Body Healer. Um, I would love for you guys to um, enjoy the content and for you guys to kind of see the vision and for you guys to um, feel a part of the club and feel like... Um, like we are manifesting here, um, and uh, I just I just hope for um, success and um, good luck on my Saturn return. You know, I'm 29 now, and I am so um, looking forward to being a adult. Um, I'm already an adult. I got bills, okay? I'm an adult. But anyways, um, for me, I think I'm just looking for positive vibes all the way. Um, I think this year has been crazy, um, you know, for me and my family. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just hope, you know, like you guys can kind of like get whatever you guys can out of me that you can like kind of relate to. And, um, you know, once I hit my channel, uh, hopefully, you know, I, I, we can connect in a different ways that, you know, like people nowadays, it seems it's hard to connect with people nowadays, you know, especially with the whole pandemic going on. So, um, but yeah, that's, um, besides that, you know, just, you know, have, have, have good energy all the time, you know. High five to yourself, like me, I high five to myself every morning to the mirror. But anyways, um, yeah. Um. Yes, and uh, to new changes, um, I know my glass is empty. Um, but to new changes, um, I would love to open this window in Olive Branch for you guys to Tell me anything you would like to see in the channel, any suggestions, 
any type of feedback that you want to give me, please say it in the comments down below because um, I am going to be reviewing this video several times and I would love to know and to hear what you guys have to say, um, you know, um, and I hope you guys enjoy this seasonal video, um, okay? So, I just wanted to say that. Now, let's, let's, let's lay our wands, I mean. Uh, yeah, let's lay these things up. Let's lay these things up and, um, what do you do with it? Let's lay it. I'm like the fifth element. Um, what's his name? Oh. Chris Tucker. Oh my god. Sagittarius. Yes. Mr. Sagittarius. Sagittarius connection. Well, don't don't break that thing now. <laughs> don't break that thing. You see that red part right there? Listen, spirit animals, the gorilla, shoot, I don't know, like, bro, like, to be honest with you, man, like, I just connect with this gorilla. Every day I wake up, I feel like doing push-up, and I see this gorilla looking to me, like, through the glass, and I'm just telling me, like, yo, you can do this. You know what I'm saying? You can do this. Just for today, say yes. Just for today. Today, you're going to do 10 push-ups. You know what I'm saying? Because I see the baby laying down in the back. And I see the baby like looking at me like, bro, you, you can do this. This is. Alex, um, everybody wants to know where you're from. I know that. I know that. They hear your accent. They want to know. Um, I would say that for. Wait. Yeah. Where are you from, Alex? Who was it? Who was it? And also because of the gorilla. The gorilla, look, you already know, you know, motherland, Africa, and um, but also um, my mom, you know, she Brazilian. We um, I have a I have a connection with both Brazil and Angola, which is country in Africa, is also colonized by Portugal as well, and. and um, for those of you guys who don't know, okay, we're, we're mentioning this for several reasons. Number one, because of the fact that it's so interesting. And because of also the fact that um, this is a spiritual channel. We do a lot of spiritual studies. And Brazil has such an interesting background. And it's, it's one of the most developed areas in Latin America. And I'm just so fascinated to know everything about Brazil, as well as here in South Florida. I mean, we're from South Florida. And we're going to be reviewing restaurants from this area, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, that it's, it's, it's really, really interesting to hear about their community over there and what's, what's really going on over there. Yeah, it's very, um, it's very interesting. A lot of people don't understand. <clears throat> like um, Brazil is kind of like if you if you believe believe it or not it's almost like kind of like a little bit over over here you know like you see like how um you know just the uh, the whole urban community how it is with the whole 
uh, whether it's politics, or whether it's sports, mm -hmm. it's um it's almost the same thing over there. It's just a little bit over here. It's just more like you know you got everything under control, you know everything is, is no chaos or anything like that. But over there, you know, it's <clears throat> you know it's you know yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So. But that's a, that's for another day. I, I, I really like... Um, yes, exactly. We're going to be going into cultural studies about Brazil. Um, that's a huge reason why Alex is here. Alex is a healer. Alex is also trilingual. Or, yes, he has, he has a background in three different languages. Um, Alex is not just an ordinary person in a lot of ways. I mean, he is he is not just a, a great human being, but he's also a person who's lived a different life. He can talk to you guys as well as myself, and he can educate us on what it's like to be so unique because he was born in a situation where he is, he's black, but at the same time, he was born in a Hispanic country. At the same time, he was raised in America. At the same time, he has had to master English, as well as he has had to not lose his heritage. And his heritage is so many things because of the fact that it's not just it's the fact that he is from Africa, the motherland too, like from his family. His family never lost the African root because he's not like descended from a slavery, like, you know, like most of us, like a lot of us from America are, you know, he, well, he may be, but it's more so on, on that side of the world, you know? So it's really interesting, I think, for us to learn about um, people who, especially who are black people, who are maybe, who would have been slaves in a different sense or a different, or a different type of, a, a different type of way of viewing mm -hmm. where we would have been if, you know, if we would have been a hundred years ago or, or what, what would have happened? What, where would have, where would have been, been? You know, um, what different walks of life, you know? Um, so, yes. Yeah. And, and I'm excited. Like, it's so much that we can all learn from each other. Like, from Brittany. Like, thank you so much for the flowers. Um, but what? Yeah. <laughs> I made a flower. You gave me my flower. You Thank talk, you. You talk so many. She she say so many. I nice love things. that because that's the first time I heard her wanted... talk so much good things about me for the first time. By by the way, but she be such a good friend. Like I'm, I such such a sweetheart. And um, but yeah, like um, I, I've um. I'm learning so much from her, you know. She's just a, she's an inspiring young lady, beautiful, um, you know, just smart. And, uh, you know, she's a freaking Aries, guys. Like, Aries, you know, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm a Sagittarius. That's why I, I, I don't know, like, but Aries, uh, is, they're different, bro. We are going to do a video on Aries and Sagittarius um, energy. Um, we could definitely speak on it just on just energy level because that's a lot of um, so much astrology is constantly building. It's an education resource that's constantly growing. So um, you can never have too many people who put the information out there as far as what their personal experiences is. And there's a lot that you can learn. Um, Alex ain't just no ordinary sad, y'all. Alex has been with how many Aries women? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, you know what? Um we 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 will talk about that. We will talk about that someday. You will talk about it on his channel. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. 
Stay tuned. He's been with a lot of Aries women. So for those of you guys who are Aries women who are watching this channel, who are interested to know about a sign that you're supposed to be very compatible with. Um, I say this because, um, because it's a fact. It is a fact. Um, fire and fire are considered compatible placements on many levels, not just, you know, also romantic, but also friendship as well. So it's very, very valuable for you guys to know how each of the elements play because it gives you a lot of, um, understanding overall in life. But, um, but with, in particular with, um, with Sag and Aries, um, it is, you find that there's a lot of information out there, Alex, about Sag and Aries, but it's very generic. Mm -hmm. Um, there's very rarely any personal experiences because I find that, um, you don't really have too many people that go into depth about the Sag and Aries connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's an interesting connection because for Sag people and for Aries people who have an interest to know and who may be in a relationship, they will want to, they will really badly want to know because oh yeah, of course because they are most compatible because they're both shining. <laughs> You're both right. fire signs. Yeah, maybe we, yeah we definitely do we 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 should definitely do a video like that and uh, we might have some different. On um, guests on a, um, on different um, um, on both of our channels, you know, just to kind of give you guys. But that'll be later on. But uh, we have so many things to talk about, guys. Yes. Now we wanted to kind of stay on track and we wanted to stay on the focus of Halloween. Um, so we were talking about um, just Halloween stuff, and we want to go into our songs for this year, twenty. Yeah, 2021, man. It brought me so much, so much joy with some of these songs. That I mean, the list is is it, it, phenomenal. I mean, like, come on, like the 80s, the 80, um, Eddie Murphy, um, song. What is it called? The 80s, Eddie Murphy song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I love it. I I love it. Being from different country, you know, like you always, like you look out, you know, you you always watch this on TV, and when you get here, it's like a little different because you actually get to experience that with people over here. So you know, it's a um, I love it. You know, I like. I didn't even know Eddie Murphy had a freaking album, yo. Like yes. that's, that's, oh, no. so, that's that is so awesome. Nobody. Ouch! That thing's still lit. No. Okay. So we have Eddie Murphy. And okay, I want to say Alex's song that he got me into. In the side Yeah. Shaka can't. No, no, no. He, no, no. What? What's the movie called? <laughs> the name of the movie? Yes. It's called um, Breaking. Yeah, Breaking. Okay, so we're talking about that movie, that eighties movie. Yes. This song, Stopping Us. Okay, we don't have all of the songs titled, but let me tell you guys, put the words in Google. Put the lyrics in. Call the lyrics. Type in. The soundtrack is really All right. Good. You will know what we're talking about. Yeah, you will. The whole breaking back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, soundtrack is really good. I love the soundtrack. It's, it's, yeah, it's amazing. And, okay, so we said stopping us now. Now, we have at least two Michael Jackson songs that we have to mention this season. Yeah, um... I love, you know, it's Halloween, you know, Michael Jackson, you know, Thriller. We got one of them. That's Thriller. That is his song. Mm -hmm. I know he is a bit cliche. You know, I'm okay. Like <laughs> Whatever. Cliche. <laughs> I say, 
um, Michael Jackson has a lot of songs, but he also has this song called I got a feeling somebody's watching me. And you know how to see. Uh oh. <laughs> that song ain't his song. It's not called that, okay? It's not a Michael Jackson song. It's whoever the heck is titled on that song. Wait, who sings But that Michael song? Jackson sings it. He is a chorus. So, whose song is it? So, it's still his song, just unofficial. Unofficial, okay. So, unofficially, so, Michael Jackson's other song. Mm. Now, okay. just type in, I got a feeling somebody's watching me. I think it's called Somebody's Watching. Somebody's Watching Me, okay? And let me tell you guys, you guys will see a good Halloween song. <laughs> Good Halloween. Okay, besides that song, we got what? Whiskey. Whiskey Essence is like still. <laughs> oh my god. We can play it's, this uh, song. We can play this song. It's the song of 2021. It is. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I listen to a lot of Afrobeat, you know, being, you know, having that motherland in me, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, uh, you know, just you you gotta have that alpha beat. You need to. And uh, you know, Wizkid, um, Brenda Boy, um, Mr. Easy, uh all them boys, man. Shout out. Yes. Mm-hmm. What you, what you doing over here? You over here just whining and 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 dying. Whining and dying. Okay, mm -hmm. well I think our guests need to see their their next uh, their shot. Shot. Another shot. How Another about shot. that? Oh Lord, how much? Wait, I, this is is this mine? It is yours. Okay. Finish that one. Oh my gosh, are you? Okay. Oh my gosh. Mm. Okay, guys. So the next shot. And then we will move on. Where is that title? We are finally, we are going to be finishing off. We're finally done with this video. We've introduced Um, Let's just finish our shots. Guys, we're evening it out. We're evening out the playing field. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We're evening out the playing field. You guys should see how many times I almost dropped it. Look at this. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Two granny shots. The vanilla is gone, baby. The vanilla is gone. <laughs> and now we got the cookies and cream. <laughs> it's a monster smash. Monster smash. Monster smash. What made you even come up with this goddamn name? Like I don't know. Scooby Doo. Okay. So, oh um, let's do the shot. Monster smash. Monster smash. Okay. Guys, do not try this at home. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm hmm. The movies, the movies. We gotta talk about the movies. What What are your favorite all time Halloween movies? Well, no, no, no. We're gonna talk about the seasonal movies because we're gonna do this again next year. Seasonal movie. Yes. Um, my Netflix. favorite movie this year was Carrie. Um, we saw Carrie. Um, and we had a great time. We saw Carrie on this TV. Just like how you guys see this whole setup. We sat on this couch and we saw Carrie, and I enjoyed it so much. Um, we had a great time. Um, they're all gonna laugh at you. That's Carrie's mom, you know. 
I love Carrie's mom. She was funny as heck. She was so funny. She was so crazy. She was. Yeah, I think she was crazy. No, she was. I think she was psycho. Like this, some of this movie, like I never seen it. Like she put me on. She just what is it? Nineteen ninety. I introduced him to yeah, so many like so, so many of them. Like I was so amazed, like he, how the um. He learned. Oh my god! Okay, first of all, guys, we saw the movies. We went to the freaking pumpkin patch. <laughs> We went to a pumpkin patch as well, free, in South Florida. For those of you guys who don't know, it's called Jack Land Pumpkins. You guys can go there and get free pumpkins. Or not even free pumpkins. No, don't, don't listen to me. No, it's not free pumpkins. <laughs> no, you guys go there just to see it, okay? Just to see it for free, okay? Just to look at a pumpkin for free. Yeah, guys. It, That's it. It has, it has. I, but I, we have fun. I did. I, I, you will learn so much about pumpkin. I did not know like it had different colors. You're like such a pumpkin. fucking liar. What? Are you not know a liar about no pumpkin? I mean, color? I, I mean, that no certificate. No. I mean, I mean, you, <laughs> there was there was this one particular pumpkin though. It was it was a huge what? pumpkin. It was like it was like this tall. This pumpkin was like her height. Brittany, how tall are you? Like, You're like five three, five two. It was like Britney's height. Like, come on now, like that's a big ass pumpkin. Like, what's going on with it? You got steroids? Like, what's going on with it? We um okay now the movies we saw okay now let's talk about our five movies we wrote down. The movie we saw that we wrote down, guys, are that we loved Carrie. We love the movie Witches. Witches was so creative with the kids and everything. That was the first time I had ever seen the movie as well as Alex. That was a that was a movie me and him bonded and saw. No, I didn't really like witches. Like I was watching you it. You liar! You no, fucking liar! You said that. The second no, I no, I I I I watched the preview on on YouTube and I was like, remember that's the one with the with the character with the actor. It was like a little girl. Um, sounded like some kind of weird anime, annoying anime. Like it was yeah. like, oh no, we turn it off. Mm. Remember that. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Mm -hmm. But anyways, what's the next one? Then we saw Dexter's Laboratory. That was so fun. Okay. Yeah, that was fun. What about the scissors? Courage, guys? Cat, we dog, Ever Scissor Hands. Ever Scissor Hands. What you yeah, guys say? That was that, that was that was my favorite. Like I just I like how dude was just chopping it up, you know, he's just chopping up. You got grass you wanna Turn into a, um, a football stadium, he got you. You know what I'm saying? You hit him up. We saw Courage, a Cowardly Dog. We saw The Craft. Um, by the way, I am dressed as a craft. Today, I am the black girl. Okay? I am the black girl from that movie. Okay? <laughs> yes. But that's not my favorite movie. I am the black girl from the movie, so but that's not movie? my favorite movie. So what is your favorite movie? I am my favorite movie was Forever Purge. Forever Purge. Forever Purge. Wait, you talking about the favorite movie that we watched so that far? That we watched this season, twenty twenty one. My favorite movie was Forever Purge. Okay, Forever Purge. Um. Um. No, I gotta go with Edward Scissors and. Like I just love it. Like it was, I don't know. I just mm -hmm. man, dude, dude, dude was killing it, bro. I mean, you should, y'all, man, y'all should go check it out, man. Like okay, so we are finally almost done with our video series, and um, Halloween is coming to a close, and isn't it sad? But let's talk about what was happy. Do you have a spirit animal, Alex? 
Uh, did we already talk about the spirit animal? We did. We, did. we did. We did. We did. We did. We talked about. Did I show my spider? Did I show I, my I, owl? You, you gotta see my monkey. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta see my. We monkey. we will have no idea. This is the drinks are too hard. But it does. All that matters is, is that here we are. Let's stay home. Okay. Let's Wait, stay home. Finish all your drink. Yes, let's stay home. And we are done. Um we are finally at the final cut of our things. Um now um I wanted to kind of mention some cute little things we did do. Um we didn't just do we did a lot of shots this year. We did a lot mm. of shots. Um Alex got into essential oils. I love that Alex is in essential oils. Alex doesn't even understand why I'm saying this. I told Alex to bring this diffuser here because I knew that this was so on me. <laughs> he is into this and this is so cool because I'm gonna be telling him how good it is because of the fact that he's been into lavender, he's gotten into these really cool oils for this essential lamp. And this stuff is supposed to heal the body, heal the, the lungs and stuff. Um, Alex is very um, actively involved in spiritually enlightening. Yeah. Know? Yeah, I, I, I do I do feel I do feel like I have to um, show um, a little bit more um, a little bit more of that and also I want to learn like more different ways how to connect with you know like just being free and be able to like you know just inhale and then exhale. Oh, how about we hide you? Hide you. <laughs> so Alex brought us this um this uh beautiful uh candy and I'm really happy he got us this candy. This is for our Halloween. Yeah, he wanna you want? Uh yes, I do. So what candy we have got? You, have you tried high chew before? Um I feel like I this is a candy that they always have that you don't know. This is the kind of candy that when you get it, it will be the like the last candy that you're gonna finish on this Halloween. This is the candy that you don't understand. This is the candy that somebody else gave you. This candy look like a, 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 a <laughs> what do you call that? A, a twisted tea <laughs> bottle or something like that. Are we going in on the this video is going to end before we eat this candy. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to have our final Halloween candy, guys. And we want to say cheers and happy Halloween, okay? Cheers. Happy Halloween. Oh, God. Alright. Hi, Q. Hi, Q. I've had this candy before for sure. Oh. Yeah, this is the candy that you don't know. <laughs> this is the candy you eat. <laughs> because you want something fruity and there's no more fruit. It's only chocolate. Now, this is the type of candy that if you don't have nothing else to eat, you eat this. <laughs> this is the candy you eat if you don't have any more Starbursts. <laughs> and you need a, a substitute for Starburst. <laughs> this, is the, this is this is the this is the Laffy Taffy cousin of candy. Okay, <laughs> if you know the Laffy Taffy, you know that that shit nasty. So yeah, picture that shit. This is the Sierra <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Of Starburst. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is this is the only thing 
the soda that Puerto Chapitel has. You know, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> what the city? No, Puerto Chapitel only has your mess. Oh, sir, yeah, they don't got spice. They don't have nothing. <laughs> Because it's like, asking for real. This is like this is your only option type of shit. Yes. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Mm. I like this candy. I I take it. This it's one. Delicious. Let mm -hmm. me see your face, Alex. You like this candy? <laughs> the candy is good, actually. Mm. I like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's yours. Hi, you. Hmm. No, it tastes high high too. It's a mango. It tastes like real mangoes too for me. Hmm. Hmm. It's Japanese. Is it? I feel like it should be. Oh. High too. So, anyways, um, thank you guys so much for being with us. Halloween. Woohoo! Bye. Peace out. No. We're taking our last shot. No, see, there's no more shot. Oh, yeah. All right. Happy Halloween. Happy see Halloween. You. We're done. <laughs> see you next year. Happy Halloween. Sign of the day. And I hope you guys like this video. And namaste. And yeah. Um, oh, show them your plant, Alex. <laughs> my plant? <laughs> Why are you trying to embarrass my plant? I'm not embarrassing your plants. <laughs> okay, it's because it's Halloween. Because it's Halloween, remember that. You know, you got... It. This, this, her name, her name is Nastasia. Nastasia. You know, Nastasia. Nastasia is known for her roots. You see how it's growing through the whole little pipe here? Mm -hmm. Nastasia actually, like, she's 13 years old, if you guys don't know. Yeah, let's put a pumpkin right next to her, yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nastasia loves green, so we have to get her a green bucket. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, anyways, so that's everything, guys. That is anesthesia. That is the pumpkin. That is this. Um, I think we did everything. This is the flowy thing that I put. Hello? I put this thing to give you guys more smell. Okay, to make Alex fall asleep. They can't smell it. Alex is about to sleep. Hold on one second. I want you guys to see Alex. Alex is. Let me. Alex, show them your face. Hi. Woohoo! Alex would show you his face if he wasn't sleepy. But Alex is so sleepy. And this is the incense that put him to sleep, guys. Okay, this is so the baby! Oh. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Hi. Okay. So, happy Halloween, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And namaste.